Hey friends, welcome back to Law Creations. Welcome back to my first video, I believe, of 2024. And um, my first of hopefully many. And Happy New Year. I hope everybody's uh, having a great start to your new year. And and hope you're having a great day. Um, forgive my congestion. I'm just getting over COVID, which hit me pretty hard. Uh, but yeah, we're on the mend and I'm starting to feel a little bit better to be able to do a video. So, uh, yeah, what's this video about is obviously what's in front of you and it's been my journey, my one year journey so far in uh, 3D printing. Uh, I started out with a Creality Ender 3, which was gifted to me and it kind of started from there. The Creality Ender 3 is a filament printer. So uh, it extrudes through a hot end, and and then it uh, melts the uh, the PLA and makes a print. But now I mostly do resin printing, and my uh, resin printers of choice have been Elegoo, only because my first printer I purchased was Elegoo Mars Two Pro. And that was such an easy setup, such an easy user-friendly interface. Um, these are not reviews. I Every printer I have, I've purchased with my own money. All my resin I've ever purchased is with my own money. I'm not sponsored. I'm just going by my experience. And I think that's the best way you can go. Um, I can't comment on any cubic. I can't comment on frozen. I can't comment on... Other printers in the industry only because I haven't uh, ever used one so but my experience with Elegoo has been uh, fantastic uh, it's such a beginner simple user-friendly type of printer um, it's pretty much already set up out of the box the default set settings work really really well uh, right out of the box uh, you can tweak and I have made some tweaks in my bottom exposure and my exposure time and it has made a significant difference. And it's just a matter of tweaking. And once you once you fine tune it, resin printing can be a lot of fun. Yeah, it can be messy, but you have some gloves, some paper towels, you know, isopropanol, alcohol, a cleaning station. Um, I actually love the entire process. I, I love from sitting down to a computer and, and slicing a file and uh, downloading it onto a thumb drive and and then into the printer and actually seeing it print out is pretty amazing. It, the technology is really impressive for the results that you get. Um, I don't do any of my own supports. I always use custom supports. I've had pretty, I've actually had very good luck with Chitterbox uh, custom supports. They work really, really well. And I have very, very few fails. Uh, obviously level your bed and just take care of your machine and there'll be trial and error. There'll be frustration. There'll be aggravation, but at the end of the day, there'll be models like this, that if you enjoy painting, you can sit down and paint and get lost in a hobby that is, uh, is pretty addicting and pretty fun. Uh, that's pretty much why I haven't been able to do many dioramas. I've been just 3d printing, uh, painting some figures. Uh, I'm kind of all over the place with my creativity, I guess. Um, there's really not much creativity in the on my part in regards to 3D printing. Obviously, the sculptors, uh, the ZBrush, and people who sculpt digitally, their creative process is, uh, quite frankly, amazing. And the details and the sculptures that they're able to produce are, uh, are phenomenal. And I belong to a couple 3D Patreons. I belong to Wicked 3D and St the Star Wars one that they have to offer. I used to belong to Loot Studios, but I haven't done that one much. Um, this one here is either East Mint or Fotis Mint, who I've supported in the past, but no longer. Uh, yeah, and then there's so many free files on online that you can find. Uh, but I just want to... I just want to, uh, I guess, just show you the results you can get. My my printer of choice right now is the Elegoo Satin 3. It's a larger 
um, it's a larger printer than my Elgoo Saturn. So I have a Saturn, I have an Elgoo Mars 2 Pro, which is a smaller printer. Then I went to a Saturn, which is a little bit larger. And then I went to a Saturn 3. I don't have the Ultra, I just have a Saturn 3. So everything you see here is going to be printed off of my Saturn 3 with some tweaks to the, uh, to the exposure times. And that's just a matter of putting in a little calibration file and then just going off of that. And it takes really no time to print. But uh, I just really, this one, uh, this is a, I'm not really sure who the sculptor is. It's either Eastman or Fotis Mint. I, I'm not really sure. But um, this Jason is, uh, from Friday the 13th, is pretty phenomenal. Sculpt, looking forward to painting him up. And it, yeah, it came out really amazing and just the texture and all the details. And hopefully, uh, I can't see the camera and hopefully it captures the detail and showing you and it's focused. Let me move it over here so I can maybe see, but yeah, it's a pretty awesome print. So it's either Eastman or Fotisman. I, I forget which one, but I, I'm going to really have a ball painting him up. So that was pretty cool. So. Uh, let me show you one that I've started painting, and this is off of my Saturn 3, and it's Elogu Mars. Uh, I'm sorry, Elogu Saturn 3. And this is the Moon Knight sculpture. And hopefully you guys can get an appreciation for, you know, the detail in this particular print. With all the textures and the clothing, and uh, so on. This one's far from done. I still need to do some highlighting. I need to fix up the eyes a little bit and uh, maybe give it a nice white uh, dry brush. Not 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 a whole lot of white. I kind of like it gray. I don't want it to be all white and have the white pop. But you can see on the you can see here on the uh, on the half moons here the uh, the lettering and it's not really focusing. But let me move it back. But you can see how the detail captured. And I really love the head sculpt. I just the just the change in textures between uh, where the eyes are and just all the bandages and yeah, and the armor that's all gold. I still have to add the cape, and I have that all. I have that all printed, and this base is. Is pretty simple. I love wicked sculpts, but sometimes they get a little crazy on their bases. And a lot of times I just like the simplicity of bases because um, don't get me wrong, they're phenomenal. If you have the patience and even the income to print, I know a lot of people print on FDM uh, bases, but uh, yeah, but I, I don't have that disposable income where I can just keep buying so much resin. Uh, and I'm not I'm not sponsored by anyone, uh, so I I try to look for models with the simplistic bases, and this was printed on the Saturn III, and you can really appreciate the detail that it captures uh, just throughout. And uh, I'm not really sure why I put a hole there, but I guess I did. I have to fill that in. Uh, yeah, and this this thing here is pretty cool. I don't even know what it's called, but just how it captured, you know, the detail, the fingers and, and the scale, the skull here. Pretty cool. Obviously I got some, uh, puttying and some cleanup work to do. And this detail here was supposed to be here as well, but for some reason it, I don't know if it's because of my exposure time or, or whatever reason, this one was fine. But when it came to the to the smaller area, it, it didn't print at all. It just actually fell off. I mean, it printed, but it didn't adhere to the to the resin. So it just kind of just fell off, which was, I found a little odd. Never seen that before, but the detail is amazing. So yeah, that's the Moon Knight that I'm working on. Uh, like I say, Elogu Saturn 3, user-friendly and I'm not an expert in, you know, in obviously in resin printing. And I can't tell you the difference between 12K and 8K and 4K and all that jazz. But what I can tell you is my experience with the printer and the prints that I've been able to achieve 
off of this printer. Uh, the Saturn, Saturn 3 is a 12K printer. Uh, I haven't really compared it to my, my regular Saturn printer, but I've gotten great prints off my Saturn. I think it comes down to budget and what you can afford. Um, anything the El Elugu line, uh, I would recommend. But that's based off of preference. That's based off of experience. Uh, and I'm sure the others are just as good. So let me go through. And I just printed this particular Jason from Friday the 13th. And it's a Wicked model. This this base here, uh, the base body I printed in one piece. And it actually it ended up being a 12-hour print off the Saturn III. And it, and it printed really well. There's quite a few details in it. Um, let me just show you the head sculpt for this particular. This is Wicked 3D. And it's actually pretty amazing, the detail, the likeness. And... Um, everything for Jason but uh, I'm not a huge horror fan but this brings me back to when I was a kid it was one of my first horror movies that I had watched probably without my parents permission but I do recall watching it and this particular head sculpt fits here as such just to give you an idea and then what Wicked did was pretty cool they they did indiv three individual ma masks. So I'm going to have to print up two other heads. So I can display, you know, it can have the option to display the masks. And then they also printed, you know, the leather that goes in the back, if you guys can see. And it's very flexible. I use regular Elugu resin, which is usually very brittle. But these haven't been really cured yet, so... Um, yeah, but I thought it was pretty cool how they included three different uh, masks and uh, one head sculpt for it all. So I'll just go in and print a few more of these. And the detail, I think you can really see it there, just in the teeth and the tongue. And resin printing to me is just amazing, especially if you love models, if you love certain characters, and you can actually bring them uh, to life. And, uh, yeah, th this Moon Knight, I should finish up soon. Here's the uh, the capes. And I just loaded up with, uh, I made it hollow. I don't even know if I was supposed to. But I obviously I have a, quite a bit of cleanup to do because I, uh, any any of the hold event holes that, uh, that are here, I'll, I'll just cover up. Especially the ones that are visible when the final uh, piece is put together. And this actually comes in two large pieces, so if you can get an appreciation for that. Let me back this up a little so you guys can... Whoop, wrong way. I do that all the time. So you can... I guess that's as far back as she'll go. So, yeah, that's the cape for that. Enough of that. Don't want to bore you with that. I'll have some cleanup to do there. And I think... The most excited model I'm actually looking forward to printing is this Hulk bust from Wicked 3D. This is the portrait. And it actually comes with a Lou Ferrigno portrait, which is pretty cool. So this was printed before I adjusted my settings. So this was printed on just the default settings, which, which still produces some pretty fantastic details. And just for an example, this Jason... Portrait was printed uh, after I changed the uh, the exposure, and you can really see how smooth and the lack of uh, any kind of layer lines in that. And here you can see a, a little bit of transitioning in this particular. So your settings are really important. So I do recommend you you just take a little bit of time to. Uh, to dial those in and I think once you have them dialed in you'll you'll be good to go and for the longest time I just went with default and was very very happy with uh the results but yeah so that's the Hulk portrait let's uh let's take a look here and this is his uh torso and it comes in two pieces which incredibly large uh, so and then the, the lower half connects there I have a few gaps I have to fill in. 
And then you got the arms that, that go here. And it kind of displays like that. And the head like that. Just to give you folks an idea. And the base is actually huge too. This piece is large. I actually already have a buyer for it once I once I get around to painting it. Uh, so so just a friend of mine that I uh, I grew up with. And he's a huge Hulk fan. So that gives you an idea. That's just the upper half. Still have the legs which are here. I'm sorry all this is out of I don't prep very well for my my videos but it gives you the the idea of how huge this particular hope can be let's back it up a little straighten that out bring him a little more into focus yeah and that's without the base and the base is printed in four parts which you can see here and he sits on the base and then it comes with you know and this was printed with great detail like just the uh texturing in the in the in the wording which is pretty cool so that's what i've been doing i between this and i think one of the worst things i ever did was purchase a playstation 5 so i've been playing the division 2 which is a complete uh a complete sucker of my time and I always when I'm sitting there playing I just get so caught up and you know playing and then I want to create and yeah it it's uh many things fight for my time uh, my kids not so much anymore they're a phone call they're one's in college and one's in Florida uh my wife she's busy with work so I do have a lot of my own spare time my hours of work are 5 30 to 2 which I absolutely love it frees me up in the afternoon to do certain things, but sometimes I get a little carried away with the PS5 and kind of drives me nuts. But especially when I want, I have all this and so, so much more to paint. And it's just, and the printing is easy. I, I do all my files and slicing and all that stuff. And then in the evening, around six o'clock, I may, uh, I'll stop the print. And I'll let it go through the night and wake up to 90% uh, of the time flawless prints. And what I mean by flawless is no failures. There's always going to be clean up and gap filling to do. But this is the hook base here. And it gives you an idea of the size of that. And this is fairly simplistic base. Uh, wicked can really get carried away with their bases, which which a lot of people do appreciate. But for me, uh, I just find it a huge expense and with extra resin where I appreciate uh, basic bases. And, and they seem to be getting around to that a little bit more, which is uh, very much appreciated. And yeah, that's, uh, that's just my journey in 3D printing. If you're thinking about getting into 3D printing, uh, don't be scared with the resin. As long as you uh, gear up, you know, you wear your respirator when you're sanding it. Uh, you always wear your gloves when handling it. Uh, when you're working with the IPA, have a respirator, not just a dust mask. You need a good, uh, good quality respirator that has actual filters. So, but you'll, you'll, uh, don't be afraid. It's, it's rather simple to be honest with you, and um, and the learning curve is there. You have to learn different ways to orient your models, hollow them out, adding holes. But, you know, to be honest with you, it's, it's fairly um, easy to learn. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, there's just so many awesome creators out there that are, are creating uh, fantastic digital sculpts that you can really... Uh, if you're a huge fan of certain characters, you can find yourself a file, print it, paint it, and for merely a fraction of the price, if you would have, uh, like this Moon Knight, if you would have granted the quality to be different side show collectibles, they obviously would trump this. But 
at the end of the day, if you have some painting skills and some patience, you can have a pretty awesome model. And um, yeah, you can just display it on your shelf. And don't be afraid. Just hop in and give it a go. And that's what I did. I was always afraid of, you know, learning something new. And I always like to challenge myself to learn something new and not stay, uh, you know, stagnant, I guess. And, and for a channel like mine, it can be a little underwhelming because a lot of people get used to you. You know, at first I started with custom action figures. Then I went to dioramas. And for the longest time I did dioramas. And, um, and then I went into 3D printing and and painting models and I my my interest in my variety is just all over the place and sometimes it's hard to stay focused because there's so much I want to do and so much uh, I want to create that that a lot of times I just come down to my studio and I really just have to sit for a minute and say what do I want to do today and be more focused uh, on that particular but I have my hands in so much you know, I want to make dioramas. I want to, you know, I, I found this guy. He was a free. He was a free. I got a little bit more resin here that I have to clean up. But he was a free STL on 3D cults. Uh, not 3D cults. Uh, what was it? 3D printables. And he's a sniper. And I want to make like a, a shadow box, picture frame shadow box of a ruined environment for him to be in and add some lighting with some smoke and it just that's where my imagination takes me and then five minutes later I'm thinking oh this Jason is pretty awesome I want to sit down and paint him and then five minutes later I'm onto the Hulk and five minutes later uh, I'm onto a diorama and then 10 minutes later I'm at the PS5 I'm my own worst enemy when it comes to uh, productivity and getting stuff done because I am quite the scatterbrain that's enough of that, I guess. Uh, if you made it this far, God bless you. you. You're very patient. Most people don't even make it a minute through, but hey, it is what it is. And you guys take care, and I hope you're having a great new year. I've been off of work for like four days, so because of this COVID stuff, <clears throat> and I do feel a lot better, so I'll be going back tomorrow. My wife's traveling, so I have the next week to sit down focus and and get some productivity done and for this jason i'm going to go and make my own base for so that'll be cool all right if you made it this far i appreciate you i appreciate everybody that uh is supportive and all my subscribers uh thank you so much so if you if you like this video please subscribe please like please comment and have a wonderful evening bye folks